Hello, everybody, and welcome to SAPA Bilbao 2024. I'm here today with Dr. Ignacio Sanz Martin. Doctor, welcome. Thank you, Mike. Pleasure to be here with you. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the journal Perio Clinica. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the upcoming issues? So I think we really have exciting stuff coming up for this year, and we're going to be discussing about the interrelationship between perio and ortho. We really have some of the best and most talented experts on this topic that uh, have really laid up a really nice um, you know, piece of uh, work that is going to help you take better decisions on managing these patients that need ortho, but they also have perio issues. And then we also have an, uh, an upcoming uh, issue that is going to be discussing about the interproximal tissue. We call it the papilla between implants and teeth. And it's really going to be a phenomenal and very landmark piece of work. I think it's going to help a lot of people. So really excited about what's coming up in Perio Clinica. Um, along the same lines, uh, can you talk to us in some general terms about what the future holds for the journal Perio Clinica? So I think uh, the idea is to continue to do basically what we're doing, which is basically trying to continue to give clinicians information and try to help them you know, can get developed and take better decisions for their patients and really try to give them what's really state of the art in terms of the perio and implants. Um, we're, for example, updating some of the guidelines that have been updated by the European Federation of Periodontology. So later this year, clinicians will have the possibility of having access to this in a way that they will be easier to interpret with clinical cases, more digestible. So, you know, this this is the idea, you know, to continue to try to help you know, our colleagues to um, to learn and to grow as professionals. And uh, there's also a website for Perio Clinica that goes That's along right. with the journal, correct? That's right. And how's that working? It's working great. I think the fact that we now have every issue being translated into English makes really huge difference because this site has the articles in English and in Spanish. And the article is going, the, the, the site is going really great. It's been up for about two years and you can find every information. There's articles that are online open. You have all the editorials that are open there. So you really have a bunch of stuff that you can access for free. And then obviously all the content that it's for, uh, for members, you know. So the idea is to continue to grow this site, to introduce videos, to introduce podcasts, and to, you know, everything linked to the journal, but uh, to make it more attractive for people. Dr. Ignacio Sanz-Martin, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.